All right, pressure man. With our uh, one inch bulk valve. This is uh, for our Hudson float valve. And uh, I got my one inch bulk head, sorry. So basically, uh, it's the same way I did these bulk heads. You wanna make your cut. Those are a lot smaller, obviously, and you you, you want to make sure that uh, with your drill saw, you want to make sure that you know you have a, a good fit. That way, you know uh, the correct size for your bulkhead. You you don't want it super snug because you, you are gonna you know tighten it up with this, but you want it to be able to have. I, I feel like it should have a little play like this, you know. That way when you tighten this up or when you uh, insert it in rather it's not you got to do all of that with it you know because uh, your ring is going to tighten it up anyway so if you look here at my tank i have two different bulkheads here uh that's going to serve a purpose for two different functions uh it's just a preference thing I, i'm creating this on my own and this is my first uh software system that I'm putting together so I kind of know what I'm doing and I mostly don't know what I'm doing uh, but my preference is to do it this way so I'm gonna see what happens I'm not sure where I want it over here I'm, I'm not sure if I want to put it right there or I want to put it right here um, I'm kind of thinking putting it here right there it's only a 65 gallon tank so I think that's pretty sufficient for what I'm trying to do with this software system. Uh, and with the Hudson float valve, I mean, you, you're going to have an unlimited supply of water. So 65 gallons for me is, is pretty good starting off. So that's what we're going to work with. That's what we're operating with. So uh, we'll see what it looks like when I get done. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started.